I guess it was probably at some point in time I probably had to say this and um, after I had a pretty big cry in my soul if you will after I listened to a basically a speech by General Michael Flynn four-star guy US Army was on Trump's national security team right so my heart and soul and all my love goes out to you General Michael Flynn and your family but I listened to every word you said in that presentation the other day, and it hits home. And the reason for that is, is pretty obvious, okay? You're a real American, okay? I know what an American is, okay? I, I studied my history from the time I was a little shit, okay? And I have a bloodline in this, in this planet, which is Indian. So I know my history. I'm native to this, this planet. This is our home world clans and the tribes. So the first thing that I looked at was basically the history of, uh, well, what I had to figure out is, is that for how many generations had they been harvesting energy off humans? That was the first question. And so you begin looking at the history of all the wars and all the generations, and that's called terrain mapping. And I've gone into all that before, so I don't have time to, to I don't revisit the same stuff over and over again. But in the context of what General Michael Flynn said the other day, was a statement when he said, I'm embarrassed. That's right, I am too. Now, that's easy for us to say because I'm almost 70 years of age, okay? And my father was a naval aviator, okay, who fought in the Pacific against the Japanese and fought in the Mediterranean flying combat air patrol when American troops landed in Tunisia to kick the Nazis out of North Africa, okay? So I don't need a history lesson to know how, many, how much American blood okay, has been spilt on every battlefield since the Americans first settled this continent, okay? And all that blood was shed for you to be able to have the First Amendment, okay? So when you're 70 years of age and you know that you're an American and you know your history, particularly with your family and all the blood that's been shed and what they were willing to sacrifice and give up in order for the next generation to be able to experience what a lot of people on this planet never get a chance to experience, which is the freedom for you to be able to express who you are. Which means they're not trying to control what it is that you think. They're not trying to control what it is you experience. That's where we're headed. To own you genetically. So it's just like Aldous Huxley said in 1963, okay? Americans are going to be happy in their slavery. So we don't have a First Amendment right now, do we? All you got to do is look at Twitter, look at all the, the media platforms that were put up. Who do you think put that up? They did. Silicon Valley, all their communication technology. And probably what burns me up more than anything else is you could see this coming as a child. Because it doesn't take a genius to figure out that if they throw all this stuff at you to keep you distracted, well, they steal your country. Right out from underneath you. Because you don't play an active participation in your own government. As he put it, as General Flynn put it, you take it for granted. When you realize you have predators on this planet, they will take everything from you and kill you off. So somebody's got to make a stand. So I knew as a child, because I got a looking glass, that the last stand of the last Mohicans was going to be in America. And we're not giving it up. Not the demons. Because that's what it is. You're in a spiritual war, which is an energy war. The control over your mind's energy. So I want to thank every real American that has stood up to monsters, control freaks, psychopaths, demons. That's not who we are. We happen to love who we are, and that's energy. 
And we give that energy away freely to build thriving relationships and thriving communities that allows us to have unlimited potential. That's who we are. Americans have always represented what that is. We don't throw our children's future into the dumpster. They become slaves for people that are weak. Thank you, General Michael Flynn. I love you, brother.